Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS and welcome back to another video. Today what I have for you guys is the entire easter egg guide for Zombies in Spaceland. Hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get right into it. Throughout this video, at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to have the sticker pack shown. Basically, if you guys want to know how to build anything in the sticker pack, all you have to do is click the annotation that's either on screen or down in the description. So I have videos for Neil, the Exquisite Core, Head Cutter, Face Melter, Discord, and Shredder. In this video, I'm going to be covering the SETICOM heavily, so you don't have to worry about that. But other than that, Everything else is going to link you to another video that I've already made about those specific things. You will need to get these if you want to be very, very successful. For example, if you build Neil all the way and he helps you out in the boss fight, it's going to be very, very helpful. Also, if you have the Exquisite Core, it gives you a power-up ability and more ammo on your gun. And you're going to need to build one of the Wonder Weapons, depending on what you guys would like. Honestly, I think the face melter is the best one, but a lot of people like the shredder and the discord and even the head cutter. So it's really personal preference as far as that goes, and depending on how many players you have in the game, it's always recommended that you use one of those special weapons because they're going to do the most damage towards the alien. So the first step is finding the boombox, the umbrella, and the calculator. The first boombox location can be right there. If it's not there, it's going to be over here next to the Kepler system area sitting on the table. And if it's not there, it's going to be downstairs next to racing stripes right on that table there. Next is the umbrella. It can be in the spawn area right there on the red bench. If it's not there, it's going to be hidden in the corner near the rocket test area. And the last and final location for the umbrella is upstairs in the Polar Peak gift shop. Next, we're going to be looking at the calculator. It can be on that yellow bench right there, right in front of the teleporter, or on this one across on the chromosphere. And the last and final location can be on the trash bin that's in the arcade. Next, you need to bring those three pieces to the DJ. He can be located here in the Kepler system area. If he's not here, he's going to be over here in Journey into Space. And if he's not there, he's going to be through the Polar Peak gift shop next to the colored fountain area in this location. Now, once you bring it to the DJ, you're going to hear a specific audio quote that sounds like this. Now, that's the stuff, kid. In the meantime, give me what you got and come back in a bit. And I'll give you something even Devin Miles would be proud of. So once you've given those pieces to the DJ, you need to wait for the UFO in the mount to make this sound. Once you've heard that sound, you can make your way back to the DJ to pick up the device that he wielded together for you guys, which is basically those three pieces as one called the SETICOM. Now, the SETICOM can be placed at seven different locations. The first location can be here in front of the bumper cars area, and the next location can be over here in Journey into Space. The next location after that one can be downstairs in the racing stripes room just literally sitting right in the middle of the room. The next location can be over here in front of the Polar Peak area and if it's not in this area it can be in the Polar Peak gift shop. Make sure you turn on the trap for that one it's very helpful. And the next location can be over here by the colored fountain area. This one is pretty difficult to defend. And the next and final one is going to be over here near the dino mouth or bomb stoppers as I like to call it so it can be at any of those three locations when you get to the correct one you're gonna see a indicator to place your part and also your screen will shake now you place it down and basically zombies are gonna be attacking it so when you're doing it correctly you need to defend it now unfortunately if you don't defend it properly then you're gonna hear Willard Weiler actually laugh and a brute is going to spawn now obviously brutes are a pain in the butt just aim for the head they're very very easy to kill since the recent update so it's really not too bad but just watch out for his laser especially if you don't have jug you're pretty much going to get screwed over at that point so you just need to make sure that you kill him as fast as possible now once you've done this and you've actually failed you need to go back and pick up the SETICOM from the DJ but if you don't fail all you have to do is pick up the SETICOM at that location that you just finished 
you need to defend it and I recommend using the starting pistol pack-a-punch which is going to be super super helpful always the easiest and best way to defend the SETI comm. Now once you've done this you, I need to mention that you need to bring the SETI comm to three of those seven locations that I mentioned and you need to defend it. Use the baby breath which is this pack-a-punch starting pistol. The first location is going to last for 60 seconds, the second one for 90 seconds and the third one for 120 seconds, one minute, one and a half minutes and two minutes. Now once you bring it to those three locations, then you're going to need to bring the SETI comm over to the DJ. Also when you complete it properly, you're going to get a max ammo and you're also going to get an explosion just like when you failed. So you bring it to the DJ and he's going to give you these plates that you need to place down. They're more like speakers and they actually have lights on them. So you need to place those speakers around the Pack-A-Punch portal on the gold plates and then one directly in front of the portal. Now then you, your team has to press square at the exact same time on two of the speakers. Now if you have three players, three of the speakers, four players, four of the speakers, and if you're playing solo you just do one. Now this is probably the most difficult part of the easter egg, it's the Simon Said step. It's the second most besides killing the alien. And for this step you need to press the correct ones in the order that is displayed on the UFO. So it's going to flash four different colors, yellow, blue, green, and red, in a different specific order. And each of those four lights are going to light up in a specific different order every single time. So there's really no specific way to tell you how to do it. But as you can see here, my light right in front of me is green and also I have yellow. So if you're playing with two players, have two people be responsible for two of them and that just makes it a lot easier. If you're playing solo, make sure to pause the game and write down the specific order of how to do it properly. And you just need to make sure you're doing it properly. For example, here I'm doing all four of them by myself, as you guys are gonna see, because I just told my friend to train away because they were all in the same exact order. So you need to wait for them to light up and you go up to it and press square and then you just go and do it in the correct exact order. Now when you do this correctly, you're gonna see the UFO flash and that means you've done it properly. You're also gonna get a max ammo. So after you do it three times properly, then you're gonna get a bunch of clowns to spawn. Just use the wonder weapon and if you need to know how to build it, the link is down in the description. Just kill all of the clowns and basically once you do that, then the alien is going to spawn in and you're ready to almost complete the easter egg. So I was wrong, the alien step is by far the hardest. Now basically, an alien is going to spawn depending on how many players there are. Upgrade Neil, so Hoff spawns and can revive you. I cannot stress that enough, it is the most important thing. So basically, the alien has a collar, it's going to start off green, then as you shoot it more and more, it's going to turn yellow, then red. Now eventually, once you shoot the alien enough, then it's going to put down a force field and you guys are going to see this in a second just keep spamming the alien with one of the wonder weapons because this is by far the easiest way and when you do it he's going to drop this force field and then he's going to kneel down you need to go and knock out one of his power cores with a simple melee i cannot stress that this is enough it's important you have to knock out both of the cores and then eventually you can shoot the alien enough that he is actually going to die. Now like I said, there is the number of aliens as the number of players. So for example, I did this co-op, so there was two aliens that we needed to kill, and the once you knock out the two power cores, then all you have to do is shoot the alien, and it will actually die, and you'll get an explosion, and you'll also get a thousand XP, which in my opinion isn't really enough. They should have definitely given you more XP for this because it's really difficult, but boom, there you kill it, it explodes, and you are ready to almost complete the easter egg. Now once you do this guys, then you need to go to the teleporter and pick up the alien fuses that are going to be sitting right in front of the teleporter. So you just go and pick those up, then you need to teleport into the teleporter pack punch room and you place those alien fuses right inside of the pack punch machine and you need to install them. So once you do this guys, then basically you can pack a punch any gun you want twice and you can even pack a bunch the upgraded weapon so you need to pack a punch one of the wonder weapons in this example my friend used the shredder to upgrade and he ended up getting that and it's called the meat grinder and you need an upgraded pistol for this step 
you're actually going to go back to the spawn area and the big space land sign you need to shoot those blue dots that are around the sign so you shoot it and it's going to charge up and turn yellow now this is the last and final step for the easter egg all you have to do is press those and you need to wait till for the alien ship or the ufo to get right above the pack-a-punch area you shoot it and then you're gonna see it shoot a charge there and then directly up it's gonna destroy the ufo and then you can go and pick up a piece of the soul key that is located right in front of the teleporter and you are done the easter egg so i hope this tutorial helped you guys out i didn't want to make it super long so i wanted to keep it clear concise and kind of tell you guys exactly what to do if you have any questions just ask down below and either i or any of you guys can respond to each other and show you guys exactly what to do i really hope this video helped you guys out and if it did please do me a favor and drop a like and make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to my channel Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have an amazing day, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Also, I wanted to thank my friend Grizz, who was the one that helped me complete this Easter egg. His channel is down in the description. Make sure to go check him out. Tell him I sent you over there. And uh, this video took a lot of time to make, and I lost my voice in the process, so I hope you appreciate it. Peace out, guys.